Kia ora koutou. Welcome to this virtual open day presentation about the School of Arts or Te Kura Toi. My name is Gareth Schott and I'm the head of school and I'll walk you through some of the programs in the school, some of the different majors that we offer, different, some of the different qualifications that we contribute towards uh, and give you a little bit of advice on what to choose uh, in terms of your study here at Waikato. So as I said, this is the um, School of Arts presentation. And of course, when you study at Waikato, you can study a degree and degrees can be um, sort of taught across a number of different schools. So we're divided into schools and I will talk specifically about the programs that are connected to Te Kura Toi and some of the options that you have available to you. So regardless of whether you're interested in a program that's in the School of Psychology or the Faculty of Law or the School of Social Sciences, you can combine that with your um, study um, of subjects that are based in the School of Arts as well. So there are plenty of options for you as well. So, as I said, I am the head of school and uh, under the School of Arts or Te Kura Toi, we have a number of different programs. So we're quite a, a wide range, wide ranging and diverse area. So just to take you through these, we have international languages and cultures, which you can do specialisms in Chinese, Japanese, French or Spanish. Now, you can take any language at beginner's level. Um, and you could do a minor in a language alongside what a, whatever other major you're taking as well. But if you take an international languages and cultures degree, you can specialize in one of these languages or two languages. And you will have a specific pathway through that particular major, depending on which language, obviously, you've chosen to specialize in. We would always recommend if you're doing a BA to consider doing a beginner's language paper alongside whatever else you're studying to, in order to increase your cultural competency and, and your fluency um, in terms of, you know, engaging uh, in intercultural communication. And we have a number of very broad papers that will help you with that. We also have dance and theatre that's largely function as one program that specialise obviously in movement, uh, creativity, ideas of creativity and embodiment, uh, who do a lot of production based work and a lot of physical based work as well as theory and conceptual work, which is really interesting. So currently dance and theatre contribute to the Bachelor of Climate Change, the BA, but also they contribute to the Bachelor of Communication Studies in terms of, you know, um, what is creativity and how to be creative as well. So again, if this is not a major that you plan to take, consider some of the papers that they offer in terms of how they would sort of help you in whatever major that you're taking and, you know, be complement some of your studies. Then we have English and writing studies. So English is one program. We have a writing studies program that has a specialism in professional writing as well as creative writing. Uh, and we have a number of really sort of uh, amazing um, writers, uh, practitioners, who I'll talk a little bit more about later on in the presentation who will in, uh, help you with your sort of progress and your development as a writer. We have a linguistics program as well. Um, and linguistics in particular offer a number of core papers in the BA, which are really interesting around the role of language, how language changes and over time, uh, and obviously how language features uh, around the world as well. So again, really interesting, really relevant if you're doing other subjects such as history or geography or anthropology, for example. We have a music department. Now we have a Bachelor of Music where students can actually specialize in classical music, in performance and composition, but also music also um, contributes towards the Bachelor of Communication. So if you're interested in music, but you want to combine that um, with graphic design or media studies, then the best major for you to consider would be the media production major as part of the Bachelor of Communication. So you can do music alongside two other creative areas as well. If you want to only do and specialize in music, then obviously the Bachelor of Music is probably the best option for you. And last but not least, this is my own program that I teach into is the Screen and Media Studies program. And again, media can be, studies in, be studied in a number of different ways at Waikato. It's one of the most flexible topics or areas or subject areas that we have. So you can do it in combination with graphic design in the media design major as part of the Bachelor of Design. You can also do it in combination with music and graphic design, again, within the media production major as part of the Bachelor of Communication. You can do a screen and media major in the BA 
or you can do a screen and media um, major as part of the BSOC size. So there are a number of different ways in which you can combine or choose to focus on media or your media studies. Media is often taken by students who like to do a double major in psychology in the BA um, and English is often taken as a double major with students who often take uh, history as part of the BA but those those two subjects are in different schools so you can see how flexible it is even though I'm talking about a single school as part of this presentation. So I'm just going to present uh, just give play a, a little introduction to the school for a moment. Obviously this presentation and that little clip that you just saw seems to suggest that we're all singing and dancing and while we are the School of Arts and there is a strong component of what we do is creative and it's performance based. Um, we also obviously cater for students with strong sort of scholarly um, interests as well and we do research alongside, um, alongside performance as well or performance-based research. So we do both, um, and, but obviously we are very involved in sort of practice-based research and as a result of that we produce a number of performances in theatre and dance and music in particular as well as showcases in screen and media um, as well as uh, performances of creative writing as well. So yes, we are all singing and dancing, but that's not the full story for us. Um, and from the images that you can see is some of our colleagues uh, performing. So you will actually be taught by uh, individuals who are practitioners in their field as well. So you will be taught by composers, musicians, dancers, writers and filmmakers. And that's one of the strengths of the University of Waikato. We don't just teach out of a book uh, objectively about things that we've never done ourselves. You get taught by people who are living, breathing practitioners and sort of community and national leaders and international leaders in their particular fields, which is a real strength to the university. One of the things that I would urge you to consider when you're thinking about university study is not just look at the subjects that are available but look who's teaching you and you'll find that if you look at Waikato and you look at staff profiles that you're being taught by um, you know as I've said practitioners who actually are professionals in their area and experts in their areas so you're being taught by some of the best and you're being taught by people who are also sort of doing that kind of work alongside the academic work of teaching and research as well which I think is really valuable in this instance. So just to extend on that point, you will work with award winners, um, awards being awarded for research, teaching and for creative practice, uh, authors, we have um, practicing authors on the writing studies team, community leaders, so people who have um, community trusts who are involved in community sort of arts projects, well-being projects, creativity projects. As I've said, practitioners are, you know, throughout the school and renowned researchers. So uh, you know, we have scholars here who are doing some really innovative uh, original work as well. And, uh, have, you know, are internationally renowned for their research contributions as on top of everything else. So just to give you an example, um, Catherine Chichi is, you know, we're very fortunate to have Catherine and also Tracy Slaughter on the writing uh, studies staff who are, you know, sort of very highly productive award winners and renowned for their writing studies, um, teaching, but also their own practice as well. So you get to work, you know, directly with these individuals when you come and study with us. 
just an example of a different kind of award. We've got Dr. Kirsty Moffat, who's recently awarded the National Teaching Awards. So you've got some ex excellent practitioners in terms of teaching and delivery and knowledge transfer uh, across the school as well. And international recognition as well, which is really important. So when you look at research and when our research is evaluated at universities, we get scored on the basis of whether we have national or international profiles. And the majority um, of our researchers have an international standing. So they're making contributions to their fields, to their disciplines. And so here's just an example of Dr. William Jennings, who was recently acknowledged for the research that he does. So R William is part of the French stream as part of international um, languages and cultures. Very, very unusual for someone outside France to achieve this award. So we're very proud of our staff and their achievements. We're also very proud of our students and our graduates. And even though we're not vocationally based, we are involved in the arts in a number of ways. We teach critical skills and important transferable skills through our, all our programs. Um, and that does not prevent students for them going into the creative industries in a number of different industries. And so just an example there, uh, you can see Lauren's name highlighted, which was the, um, you know, the end credits on the film Mortal Engines. We are industry facing. We do provide students with skills that they can go into industry based jobs even though we're not vocationally focused and we find that our students have very high creative thinking skills and create, uh, creative problem solving skills, which enable them to slot into industry based uh, roles quite easily. One of the th one of the reasons that we're able to do that so well is the resources that we have available to us at the University of Waikato. Uh, we have the Academy of Performing Arts, which provides an international level sort of performance space, which allows our students to engage in performances throughout their degrees. Um, it, it provides a professional space with professional lighting, professional mixing, um, and allows for, for rather large audiences to attend those performances. We also have a functioning television studio so students can get to grips with team working uh, in a professional sort of studio environment or a professional studio ecology um, that where, you know, everyone has a quite a distinct role. Uh, and it's not just about making a, a product, but it's about the process involved in making a product and being professional and knowing what those roles means, what those roles mean, sorry. So as I said, even though this is a presentation for the School of Arts, uh, we actually teach into a number of different qualifications across the university. So we teach into the primarily the Bachelor of Arts, but we also teach into the Bachelor of Communication with two uh, majors, a major in media production and a major in creative media. We also have a Bachelor of Music. You can also take music as part of the Bachelor of Arts, but also you can take music as part of the Bachelor of Communication as well, if you want to do that in combination with graphic design or media. We're part of the Bachelor of Design, which again is a combination between screen and media and graphic design in, in a major called media design. And we're also part of the Bachelor of Social Science. So we have subjects like linguistics, for example, that sit quite sort of comfortably in social science as well as the arts in terms of the links between sociolinguistics and anthropology and history, for example. So those two new majors that I've mentioned are part of the um, Bachelor of Communication. So they're important to, to highlight because they, they haven't been in existence for, for very long. Prior to the Bachelor of Communication, we had the Bachelor of Communication Studies. And obviously, the current Prime Minister is one of the graduates of the Bachelor of Communication Studies. So we've recently reviewed and relaunched the Bachelor of Communication. We've lost the studies uh, part of the, the title. And with that, we've, we've introduced new majors, the major in media production and the major in creative media. The major difference between those majors, are um, the media production major is about people who want to execute um, different creative practices. So people who are interested in sound en uh, to be sound engineers or to be interested in film production or part of the d design team. Um, and so they implement uh, uh, creative ideas that, um, as part of a team. So if you just think about Peter Jackson in Lord of the Rings, he didn't do everything himself. He had teams of people. He had graphic designers. He had editors. He had um, you know lighting people, cinematographers. So the major in media production is about the people who do those nuts and bolts jobs that make those really interesting projects work on a large scale. 
Whereas the major in creative media is more about what what is creativity? How do you develop a creative vision? How do you creatively um, problem solve? Uh, and how do you express that creative idea? So it's really for people who have to produce creative responses to, you know, interesting problems, really. And that incorporates writing, it incorporates media, it incorporates graphic design and it incorporates music. So lots of different production options in terms of your creative outputs there. So with us, if you come and study with us as part of the BA or the Bachelor of Communication or the Bachelor of Music or the Bachelor of Social Sciences, what you'll get is a very broad base of knowledge with really transferable and flexible skills. The idea is not to give you very subject specific information that will, will only last a certain amount of time, but to give you real skills in communication and critical thinking and problem solving that you can take with you throughout life. And you can apply them uh, throughout life as obviously society and culture changes. So you'll get relevant communication, creative, composition, analytical, critical, social, research, problem solving and, pro and pro uh, performance skills. Um, so really skills that you can apply directly in the world, in your jobs, as soon as you leave and as soon as you graduate from us. I hope this has been interesting. Obviously, this is a very broad sweep of what we do. And, we, and please do get in touch with us and make contact with us. You can contact me directly or you can contact any of our programs if you have any more questions about what the School of Arts can do for you and how it can help you. Kia ora.